Snapshot 24W12B is out with the new experimental advancements, trial chamber exploration maps and plenty of other tweaks and fixes. My name is Sliced Lime and I'm here to show you all the changes. Let's start with experimental features and the, the trial chambers. They are now slightly more rare and less likely to end up close to each other. In order to find one, you can now trade with a cartographer villager to buy an explorer map to a trial chamber. They're sold by journeyman level cartographers, which is level 3. The maze added in last week's snapshot has also been tweaked. There's a new sound for a heavy hit when hitting a mob on the ground after falling more than 5 blocks. And the subtitle for hitting an enemy in the air has been fixed. The maze is no longer an efficient tool for breaking cobwebs. The heavy core has also been tweaked. It can now be waterlogged and no longer has an unused orientation state. It now takes 15 seconds to punch out instead of 45. They're supposed to be more efficient to mine with a pickaxe, but that is not actually the case. The explosion resistance is also updated to now match the one of Obsidian, but already in the previous snapshot they didn't blow up from any explosion in the regular game. Pushing a heavy core with a piston now moves the block instead of popping it off. Heavy cores now survive lava flowing into them, but still burn when they end up in lava in item form, and their map color is now silver. Wind charges can no longer pass through blocks and no longer stutter when flying through the air, especially after being deflected. There are also a number of new advancements for the experimental content. Minecraft Trials Edition for entering a trial chamber. Under lock and key for unlocking a vault with a trial key. Blowback for killing a breeze by returning a wind charge. This one is a challenge advancement which gives 40 experience points as a reward. Who needs rockets for using a wind charge to launch yourself up at least 8 blocks. Crafters crafting crafters for being near a crafter when it crafts a crafter. Light it up for scraping off a copper bulb to make it brighter. And over overkill for dealing 50 hearts of damage in a single hit using a mace, like one hit killing an iron golem. This is also a challenge advancement that gives 50 experience points of reward. And that's it for the experimental content. In other gameplay news, carpets had started giving fall damage when placed above blocks like powder snow, which is fixed in this version. And in enchanting news, the silk touch and fortune books are now back into the creative inventory, and some enchantments like thorns, sharpness and smite now only appear on their primary items in the enchanting table again. They can still be applied to other items in the anvil from a book. In user interface news, some text rendering has been fixed in the reset world screen for realms. The red text in the experiment screen can now be selected for narration. The right side of incompatible packs is now rendered correctly even when the scroll bar is shown. And click and hover events now work properly when viewing chat while in F1 mode. And that's all for this time. If you're also interested in technical news like inline loot values and predicates, new item stack components and new tags, keep an eye on the channel for a video about that coming soon. My name is Slice Lime, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.